Hey guys, we are back again uh, with a little 132nd ounce uh, fluorescent green Tamora jig head. I've got some pink Danville 210 flat wax thread, so let's get some of it laid down. This is going to be a pretty brightly colored jig. We're just going to tie it right down to the hook tip. Go ahead and cut off that tie again. Uh, let's see here. Let me think. I'm going to go over those threads with some Sally Hansen. Now I have got a fluorescent yellow marabou feather. this right down on top and now we're going to tie that in good and tight I'm going to try to take and cut this off leaving a little bit of that marrow feather to go up to the top and I missed one okay now we'll go ahead and tie that up to the top. I'm just going to come back to the bottom and then go back to the top again. Just get this little thread laid down there and get that feather tied in good. There we go. <clears throat> and I'm going to use some pink crystal flash. I have got three pieces of it. I'm just going to take and fold it right in the middle or as close to the middle as I can get it. And give it a cut. Now we're just going to wrap it, wrap it right around that hook. Pull back on it. Before I get too far along, I want to spread those out and make sure we've got some crystal flash on each side. Now we'll tie it down to the bottom. Right back down to where everything else is tied at. I'm going to take and gather all that up and then cut it off just to pass the end of the end of the marabou now I have got some this is uh, new age chenille mountain madness I've not used it a lot I don't know if I've made a video using this or not but we're going to use it today first thing we're going to Lay us down some more Sally Hansen. Guys, I believe this jig's going to turn out pretty good. I hope so anyway. Just lay it right on top and start tying it in. There we go. Pull everything back. tight wraps you might want to overlap this just a little bit make a good full body on this jig and it's slipping out of my vise what you know it There we go. I believe that'll hold it. A couple of wraps around the outside, and then we'll alternate under and over. After I get my chenille tied in, I'll straighten that jig up. Go ahead and 
cut it off. Get our jig a little straight here so I can finish it up. Well, well, well. When you know it. I'm going to tighten my vise up just a little bit. I believe that'll hold it this time. We'll see. I'm going to go five times. Give it a pull, cinch it down. Now let's get a close-up shot of it, see how we do. There we go, guys. Not a bad looking little jig. Some good bright colors in it. Guys, as always, I appreciate you watching my videos, and we'll catch you next time.